Hi, here we are at Quilt Market and I'm Joanna Figueroa and this is our little corner of the Fig Tree universe and I thought I'd show you uh, our new collection and some of our new patterns. Our new line is called Mirabelle which is actually a tiny little plum and the line was inspired by uh, a drive I got to take up the California coast while the orchards were blooming and so it kind of became an orchard fruit uh, inspired line and this is the the colors of that line. We've kind of gone um, back to our very kind of pastel-y soft spring line this time around uh, for all those of you who uh, enjoy those fabrics. And it's there's this great kind of apricot-y plum print in here that's in uh, almost each one of the colorways that I think you'll really enjoy. And let me show you some of the patterns. We have our brand new jelly roll pattern, which is right here on the table. And basically the whole pattern, the whole quilt takes one jelly roll and some background and a binding. So it's a really good and it's a really simple pattern, great for beginners. And up here on top of the table, we've got a couple of our little minis. Um, here at Fig Tree, we do the standard patterns and then we also do these little Fig Tree threads, which are our little mini patterns. So two of those threads this time are these zippered pouches, which we've done um, using a mini charm for the little prairie points. And then two fun ways of using um, the zipper. We find that so many people are intimidated by zippers. And so we've included two really simple ways to add a zipper where you basically set it in with a piece of fabric in this one and then you just simply sew this one up on top and you don't need a zipper foot. So we've shown you how to do it, assuming you don't have a zipper foot in case you don't, to show you how easy they are to put in. And they come in three little sizes, the little coin purse, the medium size, and the pencil or scissor size. So that's one of our little mini threads. And then we've also done these pine cones for another one of our little pincushion series ones. Um, this is out of the new line Mirabelle. And then we've also done it in a Christmas version to show you kind of how fun it would be to use for ornaments. So those are the two, two of our little minis. And if we go to this side of the booth over here, we've got a couple more. This is another one of our little minis. We do these series of tea towels um, with a little bit of applique and just a little bit of embroidery. This one is called Mason Jars and it says Canning Day. A customer told me yesterday that it really should say Canning Month, but for me it's Canning Day because that's all that I can deal with. Um, but that's one of those little new ones. This is a new quilt called Starstruck, and um, it uses nine fat quarters or nine quarter yards for the stars for the smaller version, and then you can also do it in a bigger version. Um, that's out of the Soft Mirabelle. We've also done it here out of more, as you'll notice probably this quilt's not even bound yet because it was that kind of prep time for market. But here we did it out of more fall colors and we added in some black and mixed it in with some of the lighter colors for more of a fall feel. And if you come here behind me, this is our new layer cake and charm pack pattern. It's called Hugs. And it's another one of those great beginner um, really simple, you can finish it quickly kind of patterns where you do these snowball, the half snowballs. And then just for fun, I don't know if you can see that, but we put in the one block here that's not an X, the one block here that's an O. So it's, you know, hugs and kisses. We didn't know when the hugs and kisses thing, which one's hugs and which one's kisses. So we called the pattern hugs, but that's the pattern. And right behind me is our new carousel pattern which is a really fun way of doing a simple block, but um, when you lay them out, you interlock them and you put a piece of the fabric of the next one in that basically makes them interlock like into a loop. Um, it actually kind of makes me think of Cheerios, um, but the par par um, pattern is called Carousel. And then we have my current favorite, which is our canned pears pattern, which is a pieced pear. There's no applique. It's all done with squares and simple sewing on the diagonal and flipping method. That's this one, and we have it done here. I'm really enjoying this one in my house right now. Done out of fall co more fally colors with the brighter oranges. Again, here's the quilt um, with this fun checkerboard border around the outside. And then we have this pattern called Al Fresco. We often like to do a pattern that has some big pieces in it and then just a little bit of applique for fun. So this has basically four giant blocks of circles and then just a little bit of 
added applique with the leaves. So this is the same spools quilt that we showed you over there, the spools quartet, but we chose a bunch of grays and blacks from various moda lines and added it in with our oranges and did a very Halloween-y kind of a version of that pattern. Um, just to show you that there's so many different ways that you could use that. And we also have, this time around, we have a special product that we've worked on with Soak. Um, it's fig tree colored nail polish, if you can believe that. And um, I've got little flowers out of that, and I don't know if that's something that you can see on the camera or not. And then we've also done the flatter with them, which is their new pressing spray. And it has a really light fig scented, um, I say flavor, I know it's not a flavor, but um, scent to it that's really nice for spraying um, while you're pressing. And um, it's got one of our designs on the bottle, and it's called Flatter. The flatter and the nail polish are all available through United Notions. And I think that might be it. Thanks for being here. Bye.